Hey hippies, it's Courtney Shavante, and I'm back with another awesome tutorial for you guys. Before we get started, make sure you do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss anything that I do put out for you guys moving forward. Now today's um, tutorial is going to be really dope because what we are doing is a light up LED pyramid. This is my very first pyramid and we are also going to be doing a suspended elephant in here as you saw in the beginning. So we got a lot going on so to get started what I did was I made sure I added a bit of resin to the tip. Um, from there I just went ahead and used a toothpick to make sure there weren't any air bubbles that were trapped in there. And now you see me mixing up this cool little gold glitter mix and I'm just using a little bit of resin to do this because this is the tip of the pyramid and it just really doesn't take a whole lot um, to you know get this part going and everything so you're just gonna go ahead and make sure that's mixed up you want to get all the bubbles out that you can um, scrape the sides and then just go ahead and pour that directly into the tip and then use your toothpick to make sure you push that down in there especially where that clear is so that way the clear is not just kind of sitting there by itself you want it to kind of mix in all right go ahead scrape the sides because as you know no resin left behind and then you're just going to allow that some time to cure after spraying your alcohol All right, after that's nice and cured, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and mix up your next layer. This one, I'm using some iridescent flakes. They're very, very pretty, very sparkly, and I love how they look. So I'm mixing in a little bit of resin first, and I'm making sure I get those bubbles out, and then I'm coming in with a little bit more resin, so that way I can go ahead and get the amount that I need. Um, I did pour a little bit too much, so you're seeing me pour just a little bit of that resin back into the cup, but no worries, back over to where we started. Um, yeah, go ahead and finish mixing that up and then just go ahead and pour that into the mold on top you're gonna make sure that you do a nice little even layer of that um, you don't want these layers to be too thick um, because you know that's just not the look we're going for unless that is the look you're going for do it how you please but for what I'm doing that's not what we're doing so spray the alcohol and allow that time to cure of course all right, so we're gonna be doing something really fun and really different with this particular pyramid. I'm actually going to be suspending something in here for you guys, so I'm really excited about that. It came in this adorable little package and everything. Um, I believe Joe Vivi. Yeah, so they are actually an Amazon seller and everything. Um, so let me show you guys what it is. It is this adorable little hand carved rose quartz elephant. And so as you can see, her trunk is up for good luck. She has four little legs and everything that are nice and flat. Yeah, so this is what she looks like in the package and everything. Now this set actually came with two of them. So I'm gonna put this one to the side. I'm gonna show you like kind of what I did with this. Now, y'all, I've never suspended anything in resin before. So like that, like this is gonna be like really, I ain't gonna lie, this is gonna be kind of ghetto right here. But what we're doing is, well, what I did was I took my elephant. As you could, this is what she looks like with a little 360 view. Bow, bow, bow. Ooh, she thick. All right, anyway, so <laughs> what I did was I took a medicine cup, um, some string, and my elephant. And what I did was I um, actually put um, some liquid latex like right here. And then I put the string on under on top of the liquid latex. And then I placed the elephant on top of the string and the liquid latex while it was still um, all liquidy and everything. So that way it could dry. Um, and then from there, it kind of created this for me. So that way it will hang. I can like hang it upside down into my resin piece. Just like I, ooh, I'm not trying to get all that stuff in the background. I ain't trying to get demonetized. 
before I even get monetized. Anyway, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have, like, my little elephant here. I'm able to, like, kind of suspend her in the air and stuff. So, yeah. And that's just what I'm going to be doing to make sure that I have my suspended elephant. All right, guys, so what you see me do now is you just see me um, hang that elephant on top of this ruler. I just have a regular standard ruler that I went ahead and placed on top of here. Just kind of act as like a little bridge and everything and make sure that it's going to be level as well. Um, I'm tying my elephant on here and I'm just making sure I have her tied at a level to where I want her to dangle at. I'm being very careful about how she's positioned as well because I do want it to look like she's walking on a bed of roses. So I'm being very particular making sure that the feet are flat and everything and you just see me kind of adjusting um, the piece. Pieces. I cut off um, the excess pieces of string just so that way they're not in my way later into the project um, That's really just the reason why from here you see me wiping the sides of the mold I am going to be doing this um, off camera for every layer so that way it helps make sure that it's nice and crisp for the for the color that's coming next Just a heads up guys because you're not going to see me do it on every frame but I went ahead and mixed the resin up, um, making sure it's nice and bubble free because this is going to be a clear layer. So you do want to remove as many as the bubbles as you can. So use your heat gun and use your alcohol and just do the best you can. And then you're just going to go ahead and pour that into your mold. I'm making sure that I do a nice little steady pour so that way it doesn't create any bubbles as I pour. And also I'm giving it a chance to kind of spread over into the other areas to help kind of flush any bubbles out that may form around the piece. course get all that resin out no resin left behind make sure you get the um, resin to a level to where it just barely cover um, is just barely at the feet so you don't want it to cover it you want it to be right at um, the edge of the foot I don't know exactly how that is but make sure you work it out and then go ahead and allow that some time to cure All right, so this is what we have right here. Everything looks really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my ruler. And then I pull that cup off with that liquid latex. As you can see, the little bottoms of the feet are exposed, which is exactly what I wanted. I mean, it actually could have been a little bit higher, but it's okay. Um, make sure that all the pieces of liquid latex are off of there and pulled off of the feet. And then just go ahead and pour a layer of the um, resin right on top of the feet. Um, so you want to go ahead and get this to where it's right on top and you're going to start placing your flowers face down on top of underneath the elephant on top of depending upon how you're looking at it <laughs> so yeah just go ahead and go in with your queen land I'm sorry queen Anne's lace as well I have some white queen Anne's lace and I'm alternating between that and some pressed pink roses um, if you guys would like for me to make some pressed flowers available for you in my Etsy shop which is always linked below most of the products that I am using here I do have available in my mystery boxes and will also be available to sell soon um, in little sets as well so make sure you keep an eye open and go ahead and favorite my shop so that way you will get an alert when different items do become available all right, but what you basically see me doing here is just making sure that I basically have a nice little bed of roses and flowers and everything, and I'm pressing them down to make sure that I get the bubbles out and whatnot, and I'm going to come in with some foil as well and just go into those negative spaces where nothing is and just add in a few um, pieces. You don't want it to be too much, just enough to complement what's going on. use your stick to break it up and pull it apart and make it look a little more distressed and everything so the pieces aren't just quite so chunky and just sitting on top all right
right so after you do that you're going to add a little bit more of the resin on top and then from there you're just going to make sure you have it a nice even coat on there and then you're going to place your prepped LED lights I prepped these off camera um, I do show in another video how I form these but I will probably do another one coming up um, just make sure that you know you have them in the shape you need ahead of time and then you just place them in there spray your alcohol and you're gonna let that cure once it's done curing, it's time for the glitter mix. We're going to do a nice little glitter layer on here. So I mixed up a whole lot of glitter this go around. Um, you see me add in a bit of resin first. I like to do this because it helps me make sure I get everything nice and mixed in. And then also helps make sure that I reduce the bubbles that do come out and everything. So I'm able to break them up easier when there's a little bit of resin in there versus a whole lot. So I'm just making sure that I have a nice thick glitter mix. Um, you do want it to be mostly glitter. Um, so just go ahead and get that to a nice consistency and everything. Use the alcohol to also help pop those bubbles. This is kind of the texture you want it at. And from here, you're just going to go ahead and pour that glitter resin right into the mold. And you want it to pretty much cover the remaining um, of what's exposed from those LED lights that are poking out there. So go ahead and get your heat gun as well. That's going to help remove a lot of those bubbles from out of this layer so they're not trapped in there. And thin that resin out. Make sure you get all the resin from your cup. And just go ahead, scrape the sides, and get that poured on out once you do of course you're going to spray with alcohol to further remove um, feel free to go through with the heat gun as well if you see fit and then you're just going to let that cure All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and create a very shallow resin layer using the clear resin. And um, you want it to be shallow because we're going to be using tumbled obsidian to place a nice little layer in there. And we don't want this to be super thick. We just kind of want it to be about the same height as the obsidian pieces. So what you see me doing is just pouring them in there on top of that layer. And then I'm just pushing them around to kind of create a nice even like little layer here um, I was thinking about leaving the middle like just kind of hollow because I didn't think anyone would see it however with this being my first pyramid I wasn't willing to risk it and this already uses a lot of resin I didn't want to <laughs> make something I did not like so what I did was I just went ahead and got a few more chips and added those in so that way I can make sure it's a nice flush layer um, after I get all the pieces in and everything making sure excuse me making sure that there aren't any bubbles trapped underneath or anything like that you're just going to go ahead with a little bit more resin making sure that those are covered nicely to create a nice even layer and then push into the corners make sure there's no extra bubbles go ahead and spray with that alcohol if necessary and get in with the heat gun if you feel the need to as well and then you're just going to allow that that time to cure. All right, so you're going to go ahead and get some more of the iridescent flakes. And I'm just going to stir this up with the resin here and make sure that it's nice and thick, just like before and everything. And we're just going to keep mixing and mixing. Um, make sure to add your resin in um, stages and everything. Um, so that way you can help get the bubbles out as best you can. And then from there, just go ahead and pour that layer right on top of that obsidian layer that we just finished pouring. So make sure that it's nice and even in there. Push it around um, to make sure that you got the flakes all where you need them and they're covering everything. Go in with that heat gun. Clear it on out. Yep, there we go. And then make sure all those bubbles are gone by spraying some alcohol after doing this. Feel free to alternate if you need to. And then you're just going to go ahead and let that cure too. 12 hours. All 
all right so now it's time for the fun part what i have here are some pre-printed foils that i made using some skeletons and everything um to represent fossils of different dinosaurs i was very inspired by like just walking watching this nature documentary and everything about some dinosaurs and whatnot and i was just like i really want to create a pyramid that's sort of like a slice of the earth like if you're kind of just like kind of looking down like from the sky down into the earth and everything so that was kind of my inspiration here and i just kind of put like a really blinged out bougie twist on it because of course bougie hippie that's my thing over here <laughs> so that's what we got going on here um i know all these dinosaurs are not necessarily from the same age like i know there's like the little Mesoteric, jurassic and a whole lot of other stuff going on look we're not that deep in it we're just getting some nice dinosaur skeletons that we can find we are going to go ahead and place some resin on top of that foil and just kind of press it down over onto the sides and make sure that it's flush up against the sides take the mixing stick that you are using and then go ahead and just kind of press down using the resin on top making sure that it's just kind of secured in place sort of like a glue and just sort of like so like what you would do with Mod Podge. Um, if you are in the crafting world, you probably know what Mod Podge is. So this is sort of like just kind of doing something similar to that. From there, you're going to go ahead and add in a layer of resin to the bottom and everything, making sure it's nice and thick. And then you're going to take your colored sand. I am using black sand that I did color myself using alcohol inks. So it's super easy to do. Um, so that way you can just get white sand in bulk and get whatever color that you do need or want. From here, I'm just sprinkling it in as I go and pushing down with my popsicle stick. I have a jumbo popsicle stick that I'm using for this. And then I'm just coming in and alternating between that sand and that resin. So that way I can make sure that it's thoroughly mixed in and we don't have any chunks of sand like falling out or anything because that, that would have driven me crazy if something like that happened. So like I said, we're not perfect, but we're getting as close to it as we can with these projects, okay? So yeah, I'm just going ahead and go ahead and alternate here. I'm going to let you guys chill, listen to the music and enjoy the time lapse as I go back and forth doing this layer. All right guys, so right quick, I'm gonna show you really quick like how I made the sand. Basically, I started with some white sand. I'm just going to go ahead and pour in my glitter and also that opaque alcohol ink. And then I'm stirring, 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 making sure that it's mixed thoroughly and just getting all the colors and stuff that I want in here and getting that mixed on up. And then you see me just kind of adding that in there and that's how I got the colored sand. Now, um, I do put these in some of my mystery boxes as well, and I can also make them available on my Etsy if you're interested and don't necessarily want to make your own and go out buying big bags of sand. Totally understand. 
so yeah just go ahead and fill this up make sure that the resin does come up to the point where the fossils are and make sure that the fossils are covered and whatnot so that way it creates that nice layer that you want that kind of creates the fossil effect and then from there you're just going to allow that some time to cure and let that just sit and chill spray your alcohol to let any bubbles release All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our little trilobite babies ready. So these are just like little sea creatures and everything from way back in the Dizay. And I just made some cute little foils of them and everything for this bottom layer. So what you see me doing is the same thing I did before. I'm just adding some resin to the front part, the face of that foil where the gold is. And then I'm just pressing it up against the side using the resin as a glue and also making sure that they're just kind of sitting in there and chilling and whatnot and you know they're where I want them placed and they just kind of look good where I have them I'm trying to place them as randomly as I can with still being considerate of like you know where the other ones are placed to but um, yeah so that's what you see me doing here and then once I finish with that um, you're going to see me press them down and everything just add a little bit more resin and whatnot to make sure that they are stuck in place all right so for the colorful part what we're going to be doing is this is going to also glow in the dark so this is going to be a glowy layer you know i love making glow in the dark so and that's something you see a lot over here go ahead and add in your iridescent flakes and everything get those mixed up so that way you can go ahead and get those bubbles released add in a substantial amount of glow powder because you want it to actually glow and from here you're just going to mix 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 get that mixed on up nicely and everything and then from here i'm going to add in some mica powders because i'm trying to still get this metallic effect and everything so i am adding a generous amount because i want the metallics of it to really really show and pop through so go ahead and get that mixed up really really nicely and then from there i'm adding in a little bit more resin because you know like i said i split this resin up as i stir and mix my colors and pigments and glitters to make sure i get as many bubbles out as i can it really helps out so heck I'm also adding in a little bit of resin that I had left over from a previous project because I feel like this gold glitter will just complement everything and it's not a whole lot so it's like whatevs and I'm just going ahead and stirring that up mixing it up because no resin left behind <laughs> and then from here you're just going to go ahead and pour that into your mold you know what to do here at this point just go ahead and pour that on into the mold scrape the sides and go ahead and pull all that resin on out Make sure that you come through with the heat gun and that alcohol to dissipate those bubbles and then let that cure. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. We're not going to let that cure. <laughs> we're not going to let that cure. What we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be mixing up another color because we're going to be creating a marble effect. So yeah, still do what I was telling you to do as far as the bubbles and stuff. Go in with that heat gun and go in with that alcohol. Make sure you got it all moved around and everything. And while that's... Um, chilling and everything what we're going to do is we're going to be mixing up more resin in the same amount so this is going to be like half and half and we're just going to create a lighter pink color or whatever color it is that you do want to make All right, so this is the color right here. Now, if you guys really are feeling these glitter mixes and these colors and stuff that I'm mixing up, make sure you hit check out my Etsy store. I told you guys um, earlier in the video, but I wanna make sure I reinstate. Like, it is the best place for crafters who are interested in this type of look on their crafts and everything. Um, so I do rhinestone chains, I do pearl trims um i do glitter mixes i do foils i do so many different inserts like it's crazy like if you've ever ordered for me then you already know you already know because you guys have been loving the mystery boxes so make sure you keep checking them out and i will be having more things that are releasing soon so stay tuned but yeah so go ahead and make sure that you're getting this lighter pink color together like um, I did pretty much the same thing that I was doing with the darker pink I'm just doing it with a lighter color now 
and then you're just going to make sure you scrape all the resin that you can into your mold mix that on up really really good that light pink color yes i love how this looks and it glows in the dark yes so you're gonna come in with your heat gun because that's probably set a bit as you are making this and getting this mixed up but that's cool that's cool i got i'm gonna show you exactly what to do so you just go ahead and you're going to thin that out just a tad and everything with the heat gun make sure it's nice and light moving and whatnot and then you're just going to come in at different places with that lighter color and you're just going to pour all of that on in there just go ahead and pour it all in because you don't want to wait too much longer and give that a lot of time to cure so scrape the cup get all the resin out that you can and then you're just going to take your stick and you're just going to swirl it a bit don't be afraid to dig down deep into where that dark pink is so that way that lighter pink can go ahead and swirl and pull neath and you know kind of flow into where that space was where the dark pink was and that'll create nice swirls and everything on the edges just make sure you don't scrape the edge where your little baby trilobites are and you should be fine and they won't move um, go ahead and move that around with the heat gun and everything release those bubbles and then you're just going to spray that down 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 with the alcohol to make sure that all those bubbles release especially with all that moving we were doing and then from there you're just gonna let that cure hippies Alright, so what we're going to do now is we want to go ahead and just get a nice little mixing cup and mix in a little bit of mica powder. Um, I'm using some gold mica powder and I'm going to add in a lot of glitter. So um, I'm not doing it as thick as I did that previous glitter layer, um, but I am still making it pretty thick and everything. So I'm using fine and chunky gold glitter and then I'm just adding in a little bit more resin so that way I can make sure... I have enough and it's the consistency that I want of course uh, from there I'm just going to scrape all the resin out and then you're just going to get it mixed up really really good and then that mica powder will act as a filler so that way anywhere there is any glitter lacking there'll still be some gold pigment so that way it really hides the um, pink pretty well um, for this layer because um, I want it to be a really focused on the gold pour that on into your mold and whatnot and then you're going to scrape the sides and make sure you got all the glitter out and everything and just swirl that on around make sure that glitter is covering all the pink everywhere and everything get it nice and pretty give it some texture and whatnot make it look interesting just do what feels right to your hippies all right from here of course you're going to spray with your alcohol and go over with your heat gun like we've done with every single layer here and then you're just going to kind of come in from the edges and move towards the middle so that way you can make sure it's not blowing over the edge since we are getting to the tippy top of this. And then after that, you're just going to allow this some time to cure. Alright guys, after that wait, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and mix up some clear resin and then just pour a nice even layer to go ahead and even this out and give it a nice glossy finish on the bottom and whatnot. Make sure we got it looking good. Use that mixing stick to go over and I want you to touch every single edge of this mold to make sure that there are no gaps or anything because sometimes your eyes may not catch it but I really want you to make sure you go all around with that mixing stick so that way you can make sure that your final layer is nice and even and you are good to go go in with that heat gun in the same fashion as we did last time um, from the outside in and then just let that cure spray your alcohol too <laughs> All right, after 24 hours, everything should be nice and hard and all your layers should be cured, especially since that last layer was just a nice, thin, clear one. You're just going to spray it down with some alcohol right quick so that way if you've been touching it like I was, then you can make sure that there aren't any oil um isn't any oil residue left behind and then you're just going to take these little rubber bumpers and then you're going to place them in the corner 
place one in each corner of the um of the piece on that base so this is the base of your pyramid here and you're just going to make sure that you know you got them in relatively the same spot and then you're going to place one directly into the middle as well um so that way this will make sure that your pyramid um sits on your furniture nicely and there is absolutely no bending and there really shouldn't be any bending with something this big but yeah, it'll also make sure that it doesn't scratch any of your furniture. So confirming that it's hard, what you're going to do is you're going to pull the mold from the mold former box. Um, I did have to bring some scissors in to kind of pry that out. I don't recommend because it's dangerous, but you, you got to find something. So <laughs> find something, go ahead and pry that out with. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to pull the edges of this mold up and everything after confirming that you got all the little extra um, tidbits off. And then you're just going to pull that up nicely and evenly and it should pop right on out for you. Uh, make sure you pop that back into the box where it goes for easy storage and make sure that you're able to reuse it easily later. And then you're just going to take your sanding block and go over the edges of um, each side and whatnot. Use your pliers to pull off any large pieces. Make sure you get from underneath um, where the LED light is. Some resin gets trapped there sometimes and it creates a sharp edge. I'm going to show you right quick how to pull that off with the pliers. And then you just sand it on down. Then you're done. Ta-da! This is our baby. She is absolutely stunning, guys. Like, this is exactly what my vision was and everything. And I'm just really happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to show you guys, like, kind of what we got going on here. Um, let's go ahead and flick that light on so that way you could really see what's going on. All right, so I love how this hollow foil like really pops. I love how this marble layer looks on the bottom. I love how those pinks really just fuse together and whatnot. And I can't wait to see how it glows in the dark. I love how the sand looks behind the hollow, um, the hollow foils and it really makes these fossils pop and make them the focal point and everything um so that's really really nice i love how the lights really light up where the little rose quartz elephant is like she's so pretty i love how she looks in here um it really looks like she is walking on this bed of flowers so that's really dope um is my first time trying anything like that before so i'm really happy that it turned out nicely i'm loving how this glitter point looks as well like just look at the elephant like she's so gorgeous and look at the flowers underneath her with that gold foil yes 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 so like go ahead leave some comments let me know that i did my thing here and how inspired you are i love hearing from you guys your feedback is a gift and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me too until next time hippies bye now